Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for watching and make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you like and you subscribe as well and you comment and let us interact together. So sorry guys, my voice is still not here yet, okay? It's still not very good, but I'm here to, you know, to deliver this reaction videos because I feel health is very important and I'm so happy to be back. Um, and so today, it's an interesting video again because is Mogadishu Somalia dangerous at night? Okay, so this is this is going to be really interesting because I'm really curious to see how Mogadishu is at night. Now that we've seen all the beautiful beaches, we've seen the buildings, we've seen uh, the beautiful people who are doing the infrastructure. And if you haven't watched my other videos, um, you know, of the series from Wodemaya, make sure you watch those ones right after this one, okay? So let's go to Mogadishu at night and we're going to find out if it's dangerous. Let's go. Tell us something that we don't know about Mogadishu, Somalia. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this scene because it was in the previous video. If you haven't watched it, go and watch it. And she said, uh, Mogadishu is safest at night. Okay. So if you're from Mogadishu, let me know in the comment section below if you agree with her. And I think it's a beautiful way of just saying, yes, Mogadishu is safe. Because most of the, of most of the times, I think everywhere around the world, we feel unsafe. Oh, my goodness, my voice. It's horrible. Most of the times we feel unsafe at night. So if Mogadishu is safe at night, then that means there is nothing to worry about. And so let's what yeah, I guess that's what she was going to say. Somalia is actually safer at night. We don't know about Mogadishu Somalia. Mogadishu Somalia mm -hmm. is actually safer at night. Right. <laughs> Surprisingly, people they think that you know night times a dangerous time to go out, but here when it's nine o'clock, you can say, you know what, now I'm not afraid. I can go outside. There's not gonna be any bombings, you know. Right. So that's something interesting. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you got it right there. Man, that's so good for right now. Order you. I'm, I'm ordering. Don't worry. So <laughs> I, uh, I'm oh, okay. You have fans here. I have fans everywhere. Hey, hey. Oh, I'm good, man. How about you? Welcome to the Thank you. How are you feeling so far? I mean. Feeling great, man. Yeah, you remember this guy too from the very first video that Wodemaya did, and he said, Oh, you can see that there are no bombings, right? So nice. No, <laughs> say that again. Say that. Listen, so I mean, feeling great, man. No, bombs, right? Right. no. <laughs> say that again. Say that again. No, what? No, explosions, not. <laughs> <laughs> like I say, no explosions, yeah? It, it, it means that right. you all think that. When you come to Mogadishu, you have to be hiding bullets. But your boy is not hiding bullets. I'm yeah. actually hiding from fruits, bro. They are even kidnapping kings. You, you, who died and made you a demigod? <laughs> <laughs> It looks like 
the coastal side of uh, Kenya, you know, the Mombasa region, where you have so many tuk-tuks compared to, to the matatus or compared to the taxis or to the public transport. And what I really love about uh, Somalia right now is all the tuk-tuks have the, the same exact color, you know? It's just like the yellow taxis in New York. It's the same thing in Mogadishu. You have like red taxis in red um, with a black rooftop. And I think that's very nice to identify, you know, the tuk-tuks. I, just remind me the name in Somali again for tuk-tuks. So I think it's, um, it's a very nice way to have like an identity for this uh, particular cause, you know. You know, like, uh, uh, the security guards and, you know, like, finding a parking and all that, you know. So, uh, and, so and, is it expensive to take um, Yeah, I'm sure. It's very expensive to actually buy. Did you see the art of just like going from one lane to the next? You know, did you see how he just maneuvered around? Wow. You know, he knows how to just look at just look at how he moved from the other side of the road to this side of the road. Just look at that. Take, um, look. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's very expensive to actually buy a car in location because of, mm -hmm. of, 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 you know, like life is here, prices are high. So. How do you guys have that pot? Sorry? You have the pot? Yeah, we have the pot. Uh -huh. But it's still bad. It's just the, the, the country is still recovering. The city is still recovering. Yeah. So you can see, people are really like. Yes, yes, I understand that 100%. That's a reason. Just like in Cuba where Cuba had, the, there was this cold war between Cuba and America. And of course, when it comes to importing stuff, it was very difficult. The cars were very um, expensive and it was impossible to have like this modern cars in Cuba. So I think it must be the same thing in Somalia where everything is expensive, cars are expensive. I think that, <clears throat> excuse me, probably just going into agriculture right now um, and so on. And I you know I asked in the comment section before, um, below in you know in the other video what's the main economic situation in Somalia and yeah most of you told me livestock farming crop farming and fishing so I feel that it's still the country is still coming up um, and I think even when it comes to the currency the Somalian currency then I feel that it's still quite low but a step at a time and you guys will rise up from you know, from the dust because you come from far and so far. Just take it slowly but surely and you get in there. Like coming back, the dust for coming back. So you can see the prices go up. Wow. Oh, yes. Mm. Uh, yeah, man. We're working at night, bro. This is how it is. Just to let you know that it's safe to move around right. in competition. You know, I'm not saying that it's perfect, but it's not the way. Whoa, look at this guy. You are so brave, man. How can you have all the country flags here, bro? <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> this guy is so brave, man. Joe, he got the Somali flag. He got a Somali land. He got Portland. Is that, uh, is that Djibouti in there? Yeah. Yo, you are so brave, man. Yo, I, I've never seen anything like that, man, because... Strictly illegal to talk about different yeah. countries in here, and this guy is doing it. Okay. Yo, come closer. Okay, okay. Come closer. Okay. Why? And look at how shiny his tuk tuk is, you know? And then they end up making money. I realize that there are more tuk tuk more than Salava, right? Until the left of the Salava. There are more. Hey! Until the left of the Salava. You wanna crash? Jeez, man! Ah, she can be on a horse out there. Yo, it's crazy, man. I uh, 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 hey, no, oh my God. What? Jeez, man. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yo, it's so crazy, man. Bro, tip tip drivers are so much. It's just like the Matata drivers in Kenya. They're crazy. And they know what they're doing, but it looks crazy for most of us because in a split of a second, an accident can happen, so... Recklessly, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna die tonight, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing at me! He's laughing at me! I'm not yeah, laughing! Yeah. Yo! This is right. such a, yeah, a good experience, man. Yeah, it was yeah. the adrenaline, man. Yeah, but I think it's you guys have more, yeah. more, took, took more than real cars. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, there's, uh, 
you know, uh, there is a famous saying by me, I say like, Hamari Bajaj is like, most to believe. So it means like, like, Mukdisho and Bajaj, it's like eating the rice, rice. with banana. <laughs> <laughs> And you know what, guys? I think I've told this story before, but bananas have a way of um, when you have food that is not really spiced up or with no flavor at all, then you can just add a banana to it. And I remember when I was in high school, in boarding school, when we used to eat, um, uh, it's uh, it's a traditional Kikuyu meal called Giveri. And so that is a mix of maize, uh, red beans, and you can have some carrots in there, sometimes some potatoes in there. But there was no taste at all. So we used to, and I remember for dessert, we, it was on Fridays. and No, was it on Fridays or Thursdays? And we used to have like the banana on the side as dessert. So we used to cut the banana and put it in the giver just to give it some, you know, just some taste. And uh, it's not bad. It isn't. It isn't at all. So, but it's really interesting to see that Somalis do that. So, yeah. Yes. I mean, you can only find this in Somalia, eh? yeah. like anywhere you see a Somalian, give him a banana. Yeah. <laughs> and also the tradition of using a jack to clean people's hands before every meal. Let me tell you, Africans did not wait for Corona to start being hygienically clean when it comes to washing your hands. We do it all the time. And I feel reason being, first of all, very clean people, second of all, because we eat with our hands, then each time before a meal, then somebody comes with a jag with hot water and some soap on the side, and then you wash your hands, you clean your hands first. So this is not because of corona. We've always done it like that, and I think it's uh, it's a good thing for us. It doesn't really change anything. And talking of corona in Somalia, I haven't seen anybody with a mask, okay? So let me know... In the comment section below, do you wear the masks when you're in the supermarket and probably not on the streets? Let me know. pronouncing it I don't know but for me it's Mukhtar am I right is my pronunciation correct Mukhtar I'm, I'm, I'm just like uh, the water Maya of Somalia man I'm the Maya of Somalia bro. so I've been doing this for long but nowadays you know 
Uh, I'm doing freelance work, so basically showcasing the beauty of Somalia. I'm really happy to host my brother here. Uh, it's not only me, everybody actually uh, I'm happy to have him. Okay, I will check out your channel as well. So it's really nice and keep doing the wonderful work because we need to showcase our countries in a different light. And you know, because Somali is beautiful, beautiful people, beautiful culture, beautiful everything. So it's fantastic. Oh, look at Finish investing in here. Yeah, this has been running for like about a month. How long have you been doing this? Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Right. It's, it's new, it's man. It's new. Look how many people. They got a lot of customers. Yeah. The quality is on point. You're making a lot of money, eh? Yes. You're making a lot of money. You gotta make it rain. You gotta make it rain, right? But, um, no, man, it's been amazing, man. People come out here, and when they come out here once, they stick around like me. You know what I'm saying? I came here, I've been here for a while. Uh, he's a young guy, he's a hustler, um, and he found his calling, you know what I mean? That's the thing, fresh juice, and I love the way they're just presenting the stand because you can just tell everything is fresh, you know, like no chemicals, no stuff like that. And I think it's a, it's a fantastic idea. And I wish I was in Somalia right now to get myself some smoothie, some you know, some fresh juice. He's wearing his gloves; it's clean, you know, and oh, I love it. Love it. What's the name of the mall? What's the name of the mall in Mogadishu? You stay here. You don't have to go out to buy stuffs. Oh. Everything is literally here, man. Oh, you have a direct access to the to the supermarket? Hmm, that's classy. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna pick something. I'm not gonna pick. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Pick something, yes. Pick something and then you're good. So, this is how it is. In the hotel that I live in. That's why I love living here because I'm not. I don't have to go anywhere. I have security. I have mall inside. Really? I have even a barbering car salon. So I got everything. There. Yo. Coming to Somalia was such a fulfilling journey because I was able to meet. A That's fantastic. Let me know the name of that uh, hotel. Wow. I think he said Marhaba. And by the way, Marhaba in Swahili. Uh, you know, especially in the coastal side, when you're saying hello to somebody in a respectful way, you say shikamo, and then the person replies marhaba, meaning uh, I'm fine, thank you, madam, or whatever. So it's just a very respectful way uh, to say hello to people. But my goodness, I love it. Incredible people doing incredible stuff in right. such an incredible country. Even though my time was short, but I really had a good time. And I Ooh. hope to see you all once again in Mogadishu. Long live Mogadishu, long live the people of Somali. If you are new to the channel, my name is Mr. Ghana Baby. Don't forget to like and share. And please help us reach 900,000 subscribers. Don't forget to share the video to friends and family. I'll see you in the next one. I am Maya. Peace out. 
Wow, that was fantastic. I loved it, loved it, loved it. And I think it was a very, it's an excellent idea to show the nightlife in Mogadishu. So it's just like any other city where at night time, I mean, things are bubbly, things are, you know, life is going on and people are, you have some street food, you know, it's busy at night, it's colorful at night. And it was very interesting to see uh, that Mogadishu is safe at night. So if you can travel to Somalia, let me know in the comment section below. Are you convinced? Because I am, okay? So thank you so much, guys, for watching. And just the same as Wodemaya, help me reach 500 subscribers. And why not 1,000 subscribers? Make sure you share my videos to all your friends, all your family, you know, and make sure you just make sure you subscribe because most of you are watching my videos, but you're not subscribed. So help me. Uh, it's just a way of showing me that you enjoy my content despite my voice which is out but I'm here to deliver and I'm here to entertain you and educate you as well because I'm being educated through this video so once again thank you very much Wodemeyer uh, for all the wonderful work and I'm looking forward to the videos from Namibia as well because I feel we still have a lot to learn from uh, your video so thank you so much guys for watching and until next time bye